there's no spots so I brought a machete with me and you can just make your own spot all right so the migration run is uh happening right now it's just the beginning of it i think these fish are real lethargic right now um just because the weather's been um, so crazy this heat's not normal for this time of year um, so i think it's going to be uh, starting to cool down now um, i got my pole soaking right here with some uh just some night crawlers i'm using today but i'm gonna try and get out there more and more um sardines are good anchovies are good night crawlers are great um all that any kind of bait uh that's got some scent to it is going to be good right now and uh afternoon or early early mornings are usually best just because this heat's kind of kind of pushing these fish down water's definitely receding right now um these striper are definitely starting to come up they're uh getting caught a lot right now in the uh, rio vista delta area um not too many fish uh, fishing spots out there from the bank. I brought my machete today uh, to clear out a little bit of a spot. That way I uh, have somewhere to fish. Everywhere I go, it's just super overgrown and um, super hard to catch a fish right now just because of the conditions. Uh, this weather's really crazy. And for all you uh, sturgeon fishermen out there, uh, if you're trying to get on a sturgeon, unfortunately, it sounds like this is the last year um, we're going to be able to keep sturgeon. You can still fish for sturgeon. Uh, but looks like uh, they're gonna make it they're gonna outlaw them to keep them so uh, if you hook them you got to take your picture and uh, release them uh, that's probably gonna start in the beginning of uh, 2024 so um, if you want to catch a sturgeon I would get out there right now uh, Martinez is really good area Sassoon uh, Rio Vista area is really good and um, try and get a, a sturgeon i know they're like lifetime fish i've only caught one in my entire life fishing um it was a keeper thank god and uh so at least i got one but man if you guys want to hook them i would get on them uh, as soon as you can start fishing for them nighttime is the best uh to catch sturgeon not like you can catch them in the daytime uh just nights uh mostly when they're more active and uh, they're feeding they come up to the bank and uh feed so Good luck out there guys all right guys it's uh pretty slow out here i've been getting some bites but um behind me right here i seen um i thought it was a striper jumping but i'm pretty sure it's a salmon um rolling and uh just make sure if you do catch a salmon um you can't keep it uh you could take a picture of it and um you got to release it right away and you cannot fish for them so if you're uh caught fishing with the flying sea or some kind of salmon lure uh, they'll give you a ticket so uh, just make sure um, you guys aren't fishing for them at all um, but if you're bank fishing definitely get up closer to that Rio Vista area oh just get a bite something a little different today for all you bank fishermen you guys got to get one of these right now that's really overgrown and you can just make your own spot oh man that thing works good Man, that's fun. <laughs> Clear out a little vegetation here. Oh man, this thing's super sharp. I just sharpened it. Yeah, buddy. Get a little anger out too. Oh man, that's fun. Man, this thing's so sharp. Holy smokes. There we go, much better. And if you're casting some kind of lures out or anything, um, I would try and go for more towards the bottom. Just kind of let it drop down. Uh, right now I'm using a just a synthetic worm. It's like 7 inches long with a worm hook with a quarter ounce bullet weight. 
It's one of my favorite setups to use out here for striper. See that right there? That's a good sign. That means you're dragging on the bottom right where these fish are right now, trying to stay cool. I'm just getting as much as I can on there right now. Put one more. Nice big fat dinner. Trying to keep shoving it on there. As much as you can get. And you can let some hang off a little bit. Gives it good action. There we go. You don't got to cast these too far. These fish come up to the shallow or near, kind of near the bank um, and feed. Like I said, right now they're, they're real lethargic because it's weather. So they're trying to stay cool. Free bells don't work really good. Buddy.